Oh, oh, God. oh my goodness. That's a, sh is that a link? God. Oh my gosh. I'm ready. Look at this shark. Oh my gosh. All right, well, good morning, y'all. This isn't exactly where I wanted to start a video, but we got up, well, we were supposed to get up at 5.30 this morning, or actually, I was supposed to get up at 5. My alarm went off, and I guess I turned it off and fell back asleep. But the good news is, I looked at the webcam offshore, and it is super foggy, or it was super foggy this morning, so we probably didn't want to take the boat out. I guess I haven't told y'all, we're, we're planning on going offshore today. Um, the boat ramps are actually closing tomorrow, so this is like the last chance, really, for us to go offshore, um, I think. I don't know how long they're closing the boat ramps. Are they just closing it this weekend? I don't know, but this this coronavirus deal is it's getting out of hand. They're closing the boat ramps and like all of the beaches in my area. So we wanted to take the boat out there and go fishing. We get out there and the battery is dead. So what is it? It's 11.09 right now. So we slept through the alarms this morning, got up at like eight something, got everything loaded, drove all the way out of the boat ramp, didn't start. And now we're back, we're getting the battery out and then we're going to, Hopefully go get a new battery, and if everything works out as planned, we're gonna be out on the water early this afternoon. It's still pretty foggy out there, but I mean, the afternoon usually tends to thin the fog out a little bit, so hopefully we can get out there. The plan, the goal of hope is to get another ling. I really wanna get a keeper fish. That would be, that would be awesome. But anyhow, yeah, I really wanna get a keeper ling, and I need a haircut, look at this. No barbers are out, or just, yeah. I just can't let these touch, I guess. All right. Yeah. Anyhow, yeah, I really want to get a ling. We're going to go out there and jig, and then I'm going to bring dive gear once again and maybe hop in the water. If we go far enough offshore, I might try to spear ling, but I don't think we're going to be going that far. So we'll probably just be looking for snapper or maybe like some black margates again. Don't think I'm going to shoot any sheep's head. I've had my fill of those. We got plenty. Other than that, we're going to try to get everything fixed up and ready to go, and I'll see you guys at the water. If all goes to plan. Right, well, we just got the battery. We got to drive back home, put the battery in, make sure the engine starts, and then we should be able to get out there in a pretty decent time. It's not even 12 yet, so I think we're gonna be all good. All right, well, attempt number two is underway. We got the boat trailered up, and we are headed back out to the boat ramp, hopefully this time with a little more luck. It's gonna be good, stay tuned. Ain't that a good sound to hear. She's puttering. It's a little bit breezy today. A uh, little more wind than I guess the other day when we came out here. But should be calm and we should be rolling. We should be going probably 20 miles an hour. So we're gonna get it. All right, you guys know what time it is? It's time for the big girls. We are gonna do it. Putting on the jig, hitting the rig, and we're gonna pull up a mammoth of a ling. I feel it. Shoo, look at that water. That is insanely deep green. I'm in disbelief. All right, first drop of the day. Over there? Oh yeah, on the right. Oh my gosh. Now nah, it might be a spade fish. I don't know. I'll cast. Jeez, you're freaking me out. Yeah, I know. It might be spades. All right, hold up. That's a wing. Oh my gosh. How did it not eat? Yep. Wing. Yep. Where is he? Dang it! Oh, I just got. Here, are we good? Yeah, we're good. Here, 
I'm gonna keep casting. Cause they're not gonna leave. Oh, oh my baby, gosh. Yeah, I keep getting smacked, dude. Look at my hooks, y'all. Open. Oh, I know, I see, I see it. Where is she? Okay. Hell yeah, dude. dude it's a little one. They're freaking backing. Yeah, I keep waiting on a big one to come up with it. Yeah, I know. If there's a big one. I mean, it's usually the smaller ones that follow the big ones. What is that? Spades. Wow, dude. Gosh, I got thumped and they missed it. That was awesome. There was a few, yeah. The question is, where was the big one? Yeah, she's gonna be green and mean. She's not gonna wanna come in the boat. She's gonna not like this at all. If only you were a keeper fish. Yeah, this is typical Ling. Doing the death rolls. Hey, hey, you know, uh, if you if you'd like to stop sometime, then um, I can get you unhooked. And, you know. Yeah, check out the line. It's all wrapped up in the grips. She's not gonna chill. All right, you gonna chill now? Oh, nope, nope. Maybe not. Maybe. I'm gonna get this hook out of you. Don't worry. All right, y'all, well, we just pulled up to this rig and there were ling tailing. I mean, like three or four, the brown fins were just sticking out and just, they were slow cruising. And of course, what do you know? Hmm. Blake just got a good, not a keeper, but that is a solid ling. Is that your first one offshore? Offshore, yeah. On a rod and reel at least. Awesome. I caught one other ling, that was inshore. All right, well, that was the first flathead catfish of the day. Not the size we're looking for. That was pretty close to the size of the ling that I caught two days ago. Yeah, I guess a trip ago. So we're still on the search for the big girl. I don't know, that thing fought hard. So we're gonna be in for a real fight if we hook a big one. There was there was a, like three or four tailing on the surface right here. We can see their brown fins just slowly meandering around. I got smacked, my lure got jacked up. Blake tossed it in there and stuck it. But yeah, pretty cool start to the day. It's what, uh, I don't know, one o'clock right now. So hopefully we can find some more like that and get on them. We got plenty of more rigs to hit and it's still really early, so let's get back in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna have to do something. I mean, we can push off, but. Those are some thick girls. Damn, they got some shoulders. They're making a comeback. Oh my gosh. Do you see that? That was a behemoth. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, God. Th oh my goodness. That's a, sh is that a link? God. Oh my gosh. That's Wait, a back giant. Up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh my gosh. That's a freaking, that's the ling that chased after my bait. That's the ling that chased after my bait. Hurry back, put it in All right. Oh my gosh. That was a shark. I thought that was a shark too. <laughs> Dude, that's the ling that I just saw. Oh my gosh. That might be on my GoPro. <laughs> Red, I'm shaking. Blake, that's a, dude, that's a 50 pounder. I thought that was like, wait, whoa, 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 is that a shark? No, that's a giant. Hold up, I, I gotta get this fixed. <laughs> oh, dude, you smacked her.
That was unreal. <laughs> That's the ling I saw, dude. I know. That's a giant. I saw the white belly. I was like, what is that? And I was like, oh. It looked like a shark. It was gray. Then it just freaking slurps it. Oh my gosh. This thing is massive. <laughs> this might be bigger than 50. Right, and that fish was huge. I thought it was a shark. Yeah. Look at there that she thing. is. I wish we had a gaff. You know what we're going to do? We're not losing this fish. Not today, we're not. <laughs> we're going to have the true test today. The true gaff. We're really going to get this girl in. I'm not risking anything for this fish. Oh, I know. I'm trying to get her brain. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, as soon as she feels this deal, it's going to be insane. I'm glad I got a reel. I really don't want my line to break. You sure you want to shoot her? Yes, Blake. All right. <laughs> this know, is I the know. only way to do it. Right. We're not pulling her in without a gaff or anything. All right, she's coming. All right, just as soon as she comes up, back up for me. <laughs> she is going to go ape. Try to get her up on the surface. She's on. She's on. I think he stoned her. Oh yeah, she's yeah, bleeding yeah. really good. Oh yeah. That thing went oh, through. Really? Yeah. It might have gone through the gill. Catching Ling on the spear gun from the boat. Too, you're bleeding her out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you shot her perfect. Perfect. That's really, yeah. Look at her. She's bleeding. We're wrapped up, though. It's all right. It's all right. We got a solid. Yeah, it's 40 to 50. That is a freaking monster. That is a mammoth of a Ling. 40? She's 45 for yeah. 50. She might be 50. I don't know how fat she is, but by the length and the size of her head, she's definitely. Yeah, look at that hook, too, dude. Perfect. Oh, my gosh. Unreal. All right. Yeah, we got a good stick on her. Now the question is, is she gonna go ape? Does that make it legal? That was a gaff shot, brother. Yeah. <laughs> True. Oh my. Watch a giant shark just come up and open. inhale this thing. Guys, <gasps> this is unreal, man. Check that out. Gaff shot with the spear gun on a 45, 50 pound ling. I don't know, maybe more. That's, that's awesome. <sighs> I'm so happy. We're gonna put a round in her. Just so when we pull her in the boat, it's not a nightmare because I'm telling you right now, I've pulled Ling in the boat when they're still green and it is, it's a war. Also, I want this fish to go quick. Dispatch it as fast as possible. All right, hold up. Let me put the camera down. I'm ready. She's dead. Now that is how I like to pull a Ling in the boat. <laughs> yeah. Last time I pulled one like this in, she racked my nuts. All right, well, the gun worked. She's in the boat, completely motionless. That was unreal, man. The eat was just so perfect. I couldn't have, like, that couldn't have gone any better. Like, I don't even care that I didn't catch the fish. Like, we saw everything. No, it was, was awesome. I, hope, I hope you guys got to see it on this girl right here. I guess mission accomplished for the day. Big toad ling. That is a mammoth, dude. Man, I'm so pumped. Hopefully we can find some more. I think we have a good chance because we have, we got a lot of rigs to hit still. Let's get this girl up. Oh my gosh. That line. Oh yeah, you're getting some juices. What do you think about that? Freaking giant, dude. Biggest sling on a rod and reel for sure, right? Definitely. Look at that eel in there too. Perfect. It's Look at that heavy, thing, y'all. I can't even hold it. Man, that feels good to see another one of those slurp allure. Gosh, man. That's definitely one of my favorite ways of fishing offshore. That's probably the, my favorite by far. I think you hooked now, Blake? Blake is hooked on the ling bite, man. We finally got him through the jetties this year. And now I guess he's gonna be coming out here. Slurp some ling. Guys, look at this shark. Oh my gosh. That just randomly came up to the boat. I guess because we're bilging out water that's from the ling, that's this bloody. Dude! That was giant. 
Fruit, I wish I had the camera on. It was right here. It that came. Was exactly that was insane. I guess we had a lot of blood on the deck here and it kind of seeped through into the kind of seeped through and out with the bilge and this that was a big shark dude that was eight foot plus no doubt dude, it's his head was he could have swallowed my freaking a whole upper body that was he was super mellow though he came up just kind of took a look at the boat and then just cruised off but I thought it was a tiger because it was so square. But then his head away, yeah big, that was that was pretty cool that was really cool came out of nowhere dude today has been so crazy Blake caught a ling a giant ling and now we just see a massive bull shark if we had a pitch bait or something dude although i did not although i do not really want to hook a giant shark on our light rods this right now so that would be that would take a while all right y'all well it was about five minutes we're kind of getting everything tidied up and um I'm so scared. blake's just having a ball over here he stuck his hand in to get some salt water we're trying to make a brine cool down this ling big shark another shark came up <laughs> i don't know i guess we're still oozing out blood <laughs> I guess it's a little sharky today. Are you kidding me? This is where all your balloons from your birthday party go. Look at this. Wow. Happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday to the fishies. You want a helium right now? No, I don't know how long that's been in there. Probably has corona. All right, quick update. We've been jigging these rigs and haven't really been seeing anything. We've been seeing a lot of jacks. They just, they're real finicky for some reason out here. We haven't had to eat. I think I've seen like five, four or five jack schools, um, but nothing significant aside from that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll out farther, find some clean water. I might dive. Uh, if we get to this rig and it's real clean, I see a lot of fish life, we're definitely gonna hop in. Um, but first we're gonna jig for ling. That is the goal, catch a ling, and then maybe hop in and dive. Other than that, we're gonna hit some other rigs on the way back in, but it's just real brown over here, so we need to make a move. All right, we're gonna tie up and I'm gonna hop in the water because I'm just not having the luck on the rod and reel. And hopefully we can get a snapper. That would be ideal. We just gotta tie up. I'm trying to get on this rope a little bit farther. All right, we're good. Back up. All right, y'all, we'll update. We are at the rig and I'm just not having the luck on the rod and reel. I just snagged twice. So I'm gonna hop in. This rig is about 70 feet. We're not really seeing much on the top, but it's, it's clear enough to dive. Good deep green color. So. I'm gonna dive down there and see if there's anything down kind of hanging out at the bottom. Ideally, I wanna find some snapper in here and then who knows, whatever else that eats good. So let's get suited up and hop in there. All right, moment of truth. There we go.
shot on her and I stoned her it paid off I have not been diving in a while I'm definitely feeling it took a kind of risky shot slightly risky shot on this fish let me get this off I don't know I was down there 55 feet probably 60 feet and this big mangrove rolls in starts swimming off and you know I've had I saw a big red snapper earlier and a the mangrove about like this. I let him get away because I just didn't really feel good about the shot, but I guess I panned out. It was a pretty far shot, especially for this little gun. Happy about that. Domed her, dude. If only I can find the red snapper now. That is the goal. That's a good mangrove, though. I had better peripheral vision. <laughs> you guys are probably like, what are you doing, bro? I think a bigger red snapper came out right to the side, but I was already focused on this one. Uh, all right, it's all right. We got one. Oh man. Oh man, I saw a couple big mangrove snapper and then I kind of pulled up, looked up and I saw this red snapper. And then as soon as I was pulling the trigger, I saw the other one in the corner of my eye. I think it was a little bit bigger. But we got one, so that's all that matters. Oh man, look how vibrant the colors are. Ah! Ow, ow. You know what? You know what, my friend? Dude, look how vibrant the red is on that oh, side. Freaking orange. It looks pink. All right. I mean, they were pretty close. They were pretty close in size, but 
I'm just glad to get one, to be honest. Look at that pretty girl. That is gonna eat good, man. Look at that. Super vibrant. That's pretty red. Big mangrove snapper, big red snapper. I mean, he's not giant, but it's a good size for state water. And we got that big ling in the box, so. This ain't too bad for spring. <laughs> this is probably better than a lot of summer days. Awesome fish. Let's get her in. Big red, baby. Got it? All right, y'all, we're gonna take one more dive. It is 5.30 p.m. currently, so we gotta get rolling. However, I want to go see if we can get one more chance at a fish. Big mangrove or big red snapper? I'll take either or. I just want something big. Oh my god. That is huge. Okay, well, you know the story, what happened is my ear wasn't clear, so I couldn't go deeper to find the bigger ones, so I just sat there idle, and you know, I thought since we have to leave, I might as well get something, so it's hard to leave when there's so many freaking snapper there, but it's good to see that we have a good population, that's the good thing, and not shooting every dang fish we see. I could have shot a lot of snap. There's a lot of big ones up high. I'm surprised. All right, y'all. Well, unfortunately, my ear was having trouble clearing on that last dive, and whew, I wanted to go deeper to look for a bigger fish, but I had to kind of sit at like 30 feet, and I shot that decent-sized mangrove. Not a giant. Um, you know, I was surprised. There's a lot of there's a lot of big mangroves up high on the surface. There's like a big school. The reason I wasn't shooting them is because whenever you shoot one in a school, the others become smart. So I want to let those guys kind of stay tame for a while. Good news is there's a ton of life 
ton of snapper on this rig. There was that giant, uh, there was that giant barracuda on there. That thing was like five feet long. Also, there is some red snapper down there too. I was actually really surprised. I haven't seen that many red snapper on a rig real close like this in a while. So that's a really good sign. It's really weird leaving a rig full of fish that I want to shoot, but it's like, what time is it? It's 6 p.m. right now, so we got to roll. We have, we have like a seven or eight mile run in. This rig's like eight and a half, so we got to run to get back, and I don't want to be doing stuff in the dark. So, good news is we got some really good eating fish. Bad news is we're having to leave even more crazy good eaters, so. Overall though, good day. Yeah, so the diving was actually kind of difficult for me. I don't know, like my chest been kind of hurting. I don't know, coronavirus. I don't know, maybe it's getting to me, my lungs. But yeah, it was pretty cold in there and the current was it was not too pleasant. So my ears full of freaking water. Anyhow, that's that. We're gonna have to get the lungs warmed back up for the summer, but I started to kind of get more into, I, my reflex started to kind of kick in later the last few dives, so. All right, let's roll back. How was your day, Harper? Take some squirrels? What'd you do with Sadie? 